what is this orthopedic oncology uh, most of you people uh, might be thinking that what what is this orthopedic oncology we have never heard about it a lot of the uh, even the orthopedic surgeons wonder you know is there is a, a separate branch called orthopedic oncology orthopedic oncology means it's a branch or a subspecialty in uh, orthopedics which deals solely with bone tumors now um, how, how many people your next question is a uh, where all do we have these kind of uh, centers in India? Uh, I should say that these kind of centers or these kind of people uh, are not more than 10 to 15 people in India who practice orthopedic oncology solely. Now, uh, in our center in Sunshine Hospital, we have a specialized unit for orthopedic oncology headed by me. And uh, we deal with all kind of benign, malignant, metastatic uh, tumors. So this today's uh, uh, topic, I'm going to talk a uh, talk on a bird's eye view about bone tumors and uh, how we uh, uh, how we approach uh, bone tumors and what are the possible things that we can do in bone tumors. Traditionally, when uh, uh, when in the past, what what used to happen is that uh, uh, whenever the uh, 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 doctors used to see a, a bone cancer patient, they used to just uh, amputated uh, they used to just cut off the leg and tell that this fellow is anyway going to die now in the past few decades probably a uh, past two, 20 or 30 years uh, this perception is changed uh, and uh, uh, with the with the uh, advancement in the treatment of bone cancers or bone tumors it's possible to save the leg and also save the life if the patient is bought in a early stage of the disease so uh, that's about the bone tumors now uh, next question is that what are the types of bone tumors um, now any kind of tumor tumor means there is a growth which is not normal that's called the bone tumor uh, or, or the tumor now uh, the tumors are of two types one is benign tumor second one is malignant tumor what is benign tumor benign tumor is the one which is usually in one particular place and it doesn't spread or kill the patient now what is a malignant tumor malignant tumor is the one which starts in one place and through blood or through lymphatics it spreads to to other places and ultimately it kills the patient if not treated so these are the two basic different types of tumors now Again, these uh, there are a lot of gray areas. Uh, um, uh, some some tumors may not come into benign or malignant. Some something in that uh, in between. Also, what are the different types of uh, um, malignant tumors? Next question is the different types of malignant tumors. It can be a primary malignant tumor or a secondary malignant tumor. What are primary malignant tumors? When when a tumor or cancer arises directly from a bone or soft tissue it's called a primary malignant tumor primary uh, bone or soft tissue tumor and if if from uh, a different place it spreads to uh, to the bone it's called as secondary malignancy now uh, like uh, a, say a patient with breast cancer or a prostate cancer or a thyroid cancer these, these cancers can spread to the bone and leads to pathological fractures or deformities or cripple the patient uh, at, in the stage 4 disease so these are uh, called the secondary malignancies so uh, so that's about the type of tumors again um, uh, that's the basically about the types of tumors uh, in in the way how they come and uh, again histologically we change uh, we we, uh, we classify the tumors into some tumors which are uh, which produce bone which is some tumors which produce uh, uh, fibrous tumor or some produce cartilage uh, or uh, uh, fat fat uh, producing tumors or the ones which produce uh, which are produced in the bone marrow so these are the uh, different classification systems uh, again i'm not going into detail about this because it, it, this itself is a big topic per se so uh, next question is that what is the age group which is common uh, common for these bone tumors so bone tumors are more common uh, uh, again it, uh, this answer will uh, uh, depend upon uh, are we talking about the benign tumor or malignant tumor so more uh, more focused or more important thing is the malignant tumor so I'm just going to uh, divert my attention towards the malignant tumor so malignant tumor usually has two peaks 
well, first is the first two decades of life that is a within the first two uh, 20 years or later on after 50 years of life so what are the cancers which are common in the first two decades of life they are something called uh, uh, Ewing sarcoma uh, then osteosarcomas are very common in the first two decades of life and after 50 uh, cancers like multiple myeloma, chondrosarcoma or the secondary or metastatic metastasis what we call it as those are very common after 50 years they they uh, even though I have told you that these are the common age group that these uh, uh, cancers come come but they have a, a overlap and they do uh, we do see a lot of uh, patients in the in the whole age group spectrum so that's about the age age uh, per se and uh, next coming on to the symptoms how do we diagnose that uh, the patient has a bone tumor now a uh, lot of patients uh, come to me um, uh, saying that you know that the patient was uh, having this problem and they went to a, a general physician and uh, he told that it is a growth play, uh, growth pain and uh, they neglected it and ultimately the patient has come out with stage 4 disease so this uh, this is quite a common occurrence uh, uh, so i would suggest anyone who has uh, got a uh, when a child is complaining of uh, some kind of pain to get uh, go to a proper orthopedic surgeon and then uh, get a proper um, proper digital x-ray done and uh, um, then if if any iota of doubt is there then come to a specialist and uh, we can uh, do the needful so uh, so the pain now again the pain is one factor which brings the patient to us uh, if, if it's a common occurrence that uh, the, the if the swelling or the or the uh, tumor is there in soft tissue the pain is not much but in bone the pain is usually there if it is a cancer this is because they 